Hi, I'm Katie Most. I'm the production designer for The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. Welcome to Behind the Pixie Dust. I'm hoping to show you guys a little bit more about what I do as a production designer, uh, and also teach you how to make some of the props and set dressing that we'll be using in season two. Production design always includes a little bit of magic, so Pixie Dust seemed like an appropriate thing for this show. Hope you enjoy it. Today I have Brennan Murray. Hey guys! Brennan's part is being played by Jenny Powell, our, our producer for the new event. I'm Peter Brennan! Martin. Hello, America! Anyway, today uh, we're going to be making a cork board that looks like a donut. What? Yeah, it, it's pretty delightful. Can I, I eat like, it? Uh, I would not advise it, but you're oh. welcome to try it. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's get started. Uh, so the first thing you need is a piece of cork board. They sell these in packs of four at Target, Michaels, at pretty much everywhere. The second thing you need is paint. Um, I've chosen to do pink frosting, Ooh. all of the Simpsons, I, I feel mean, like. got to. Yeah, pink frosting is definitely good for donuts. And then with white extra glaze. For the sprinkles, <gasps> pom poms. Sprinkles? Yeah. That's crazy um, awesome. But the, you know, you don't just glue them on. That would be that would be boring. Um, because, oh. it's a, because it's a cork board, you, you glue them onto thumbtacks. So the sprinkles are actually, you know, practical. That's awesome. Um, other things you might need, because um, you need to cut the cork board, uh, you can either do it with scissors or an X-Acto blade, either one, whatever feels safer. To paint, you'll need, you know, a couple paint brushes, no big. So uh, in order to make the donut shape, you'll need something that's the, that's circular. Um, you can use a compass, but I actually have these really <gasps> festive cake uh, stand things. What? And it's the right shape, more or less. And then I also have, uh, for the circle, I'm just using the cap from one of my spray cans. Anything that's circular and about this size should be fine. Can we then take the middles and turn them into donut holes? Oh, I do like me some donut holes. They could be like donut hole uh, mini cork boards, like around. The first thing will be drawing the circle onto your cork board. Um, these cork boards are supposed to be 12 by 12. This is supposed to be 12 inches round. It doesn't quite line up. Um, basically, you're just trying to approximate a circle shape. Don't freak out about it. A donut is not perfectly round. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's more lifelike. Um, so you put your circle as close to centered as you can. And then I've just used a Sharpie, because why not, uh, to draw out my circle. Some good Sharpieing you're doing there. I have lots of experience. And then Jenny, is this the cutting part? This is the cutting part. Yes! You can decide. Um, I actually quite like using the scissors. Right. It's, it's actually easier to control and you're less likely to uh, have the, the cork board sort of disintegrate. But you know, whichever you want. I do like me some X-Acto knives, but I'm gonna agree with the pro here. And well, the and there's also, there will be X-Acto knife opportunities with the center. Yes! All right, that's like best of both worlds. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So cut on the inside of the black line because you don't want that to show. Got it. Here we go. And if you're having trouble with it breaking, uh, don't worry about it. You can always come back in and trim more off. Uh, mostly going slow and steady is what makes for a Which nice- It's very hard for me to do. <laughs> yeah. I, go, go, go. Let's do this. So once you have your circle, uh, you can then take your smaller circular object. You can also use a glass. I mean, really, honestly, anything. Right. Uh, and you can either be super, super on top of your your game and measure it all out and make a take mark in the middle and all that. Nah. Or you can, eyeball, you can eyeball it. It's not that hard. It. So what do you think, Jenny? Does that look just about center? More or less? Looks good. Looks okay. good. Would you like to trace it? I would love to trace it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, go. yeah. with this one you do pretty much definitely need to do it with the X-Acto blade. Right. So you just go a little outside of the circle. Yeah. So you're sure you don't get that uh, Sharpie in there. Yeah. Around maybe. It's a little hard to gauge. Right. Which is part of the other reason that this is a little tricky. Oh, I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Right. And now you have your lovely donut shape. All right, so now that we have our donut shape cut out, it is time for frosting. Frosting! Close to the middle so that we can spread it out more. Okay, close to the middle. Yeah. Squiggle middle. Yeah. Wiggle, bugger, 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 bugger. You have to do the sound effects or it doesn't well, yeah, work. Obviously. You just sort of spread it out into the sort of classic Simpsons 
frosting pattern. We're probably gonna need a little bit more paint. The, oh, no problem! The corkboard definitely soaks it up. So Where would you like it? Sort of in this area. Pew, pew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the great thing. some exciting squeezage going you on. You really, you went, you went it down. I went full squeeze on that one. <laughs> um, but anyway, you just sort of fill it in. Flower right. shape, sort of amorphous blob. Um, I like it. I like basically, the it's blob. it's your own thing. If you want more pink, do more pink. Um, there's no. I like way. a lot of frosting on my exactly. Donuts. There's no wrong way to do this. Just make sure it's spread out enough and covers all of the cork in here. Um, if you want, you can take a smaller brush mm -hmm. and really fine tune the edges. But I oh, actually nice. kind of like the yeah, messiness. Yeah, like a little messy. So now that this is dry, it's time to add the white frosting. More frosting. Once again, you can do this the uh, sort of fussy way, pour out some paint, draw it on carefully. I, I prefer the more fun route. Yeah, that's oh. what I'm talking about. A lot of times with production design, there's the right way to do it, and then there's the fast and cheap way, and that's what I'm used to, because I, I work in web series and I love them, but fast and cheap is what you need. We need it. So this is really easy. You just, okay. here. Whoa! Whoa! Look at go! Yeah! Um, and then you just take a little brush and you smooth it out. And you're gonna get a little bit of extra paint, but right. some places there'll be a little bit more, some places there'll be a little bit less. That's like frosting. Yeah, exactly. It's like real life. So, uh, once you finish uh, with the frosting, you need to let it dry again. Again! Five to ten minutes or so, but luckily, during this process, you actually have another thing that you can be doing. So for the sprinkles, we're going to use these lovely pom-poms. They're so cute. I've conveniently counted out um, two of each color, because I think that's... Whoa! I, I like organized things in that way. So, I have my trusty hot glue gun. You can also use Elmer's glue if you want. It's not, you know, it's not required, but a hot glue gun does, definitely makes this easier. So if you can assist... Okay. If you can hand me a, a thumbtack. Sweet. Um, so, do a pretty small dab of glue to guard your fingers, and then go ahead and get on there, little buddy. And then you can just leave it to dry. Ah. And then I'm gonna do a purple one. Excellent. Yeah, purple's my favorite. It does mm. look tasty. It's very hard not to eat right? these. You can also, if you if you wanna do sprinkles uh, that are a little smaller, you could do something like sequins. I mean, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be pom-poms. I can bling my donut. Exactly. That's awesome. So, uh, we have our finished and dried donut. It's all dry ready for sprinkleization. Exactly. And we have our sprinkles. So oh. go crazy. That's just oh, this is the best. Purples, mm. purples. Don't put the two colors too close oh, yeah. to one another. I mean, that would screw Ugh. up the whole, the, the feng shui of the whole donut. It would make me very sad. Very nice and done. Oh, that's so cute. Look our it. lovely donut pin board. No, 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 no. Mm. Uh, Jenny, thank you so much. Thank you. It's so much fun. It's been awesome. And thanks, Brennan, for letting yeah. me channel you for an episode. That's been pretty darn good. Uh, <laughs> so look for this and other props from the show on the second season of The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. Thanks. Katie's pro tip. Um, you don't have to limit yourself to donuts. There are a lot of different options. Uh, if you wanted to make a pizza shaped Corkboard, for example, you could, you know, paint it with cheese and toppings and then use red pom-poms to be the pepperonis or whatever you come up with. You could use felt shapes to be different toppings. You could use pretty much anything that you can think of. Um, corkboards don't have to be food shaped, obviously, but I think Michael Darling would really appreciate the organizing with food. The organizing, not so much the food for sure. <laughs>